One of the most popular use cases for LLMs is computer use. It covers the long tail of integrations or websites where you don't have direct API usage. A few weeks ago, OpenAI released a new computer use model specifically for interacting with these types of websites and doing these types of actions. And so today, we're excited to announce Langraph Kua, which is basically a wrapper around that computer use model, building it into an agent that you can use off the shelf. So in this video, I want to walk through that and show how to use it because it's pretty cool. All right, so this is the GitHub repo here. You can see that we've got this really quick install. So pip install Langraph Kua. And then to get started, we're going to need an OpenAI API key. So I'm going to assume you have that. And then we're going to use Scrapabara for accessing a VM to actually run the agent. Um, so if you don't know what this is, this is basically virtual desktops for AI agents. You can sign up for free, uh, get, a, get a key, and do everything there. Awesome. Once you have that key, export this into the environment variable of Scrappy Bar API key along with your OpenAI key. It's also going to be helpful if you add a Langsmith API key because we are going to use this to see exactly what's going on under the hood. And then we're going to grab this snippet. So this snippet is for getting started. And so I'm going to grab this snippet. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to use a Jupyter notebook, but you can run this in a script or wherever. So the first thing we're going to do is create the agent. So we're going to do that by just calling this create Kua function. So once we get back this, uh, we can see what type it is. So Kua graph. And this is just a compiled state graph. So this is just a Langraph agent that we can use and interact with at this point. One of the things that I always like to do is take a look at these types of graphs. So I'm going to take this snippet here. This is going to be used to visualize the graph. Let's run this. Need to change this to Kua graph. There we go. So I can see that this is a pretty simple loop between call model and take computer action. Uh, with a little with a little step there to create the ver the VM, the virtual machine instance, if it's not already created. All right, so now let's take a look at using this. So I've got this as my input. So the system message is, you are an advanced computer use AI assistant. The browser you're using is already initialized and visiting google.com. This is useful for how Scrappy Barra initializes things. And then let's assume that I want to do a uh, human message, and I want to ask it to look at the Langraph.js project, go find it, and then figure out some ways that I could contribute. So I've got that. That's my input. Here we go. And basically what I'm going to do is in this function main, I'm just calling it. I'm streaming back the results. Um, I'm not, I can print out a lot more than this, by the way. But right now, I'm just going to print out the VM instance and the URL of that. The other steps, I'm not going to print out. I'm going to show them in Langsmith. I could print them out if I want, uh, but I'm not going to here. And now I'm just going to do this. And we can see that it starts running. All right. So after a little bit, it should print out the URL of the Scrapabara VM instance that it's created. So here we go. So let's click on this. And now we get a virtual machine, which we are navigating using this agent. So here you can see, this is super cool. So you can see what's happening as it navigates. If I want to see what's going on under the hood, I'm going to go into Langsmith. And I'm going to click into this computer use agent, which is running. Here I can see the exact sequences of everything that's happening. So I'm basically going between call model, and here I can see the exact call to OpenAI, and then I can see here take computer action, and this is the this is where we're actually taking the computer action, and so it's still running, but I can see this stream of things that are happening. I can click into any one, and I can see the exact uh, inputs if I want. And so you'll notice here that. This is just passing in a tool call. That's because the computer use API by OpenAI is actually stateful. So it's actually keeping a list of all the previous messages. And so I don't see that in this. That's why you don't see that here. You just see kind of like the single tool call. Here I can see that it's navigating around still. It's still running. This will take a while. And so this is one of the benefits of Langraph and Langraph platform in particular as well. So as these agents take a while to run, you need infrastructure 
that's created f for managing these types of long running agents. And that's why we built LangGraph and LangGraph platform. This is still running. It's gonna take a while, so I'm probably gonna kill it for the sake of this video. But hopefully this was a pretty simple example of how you can get started by building a computer use agent that uses LangGraph, OpenAI, and Scrapybara. Hope you liked it. Let us know in the comments what you think.